a student asked a great question about, we were saying in a financial crisis, correlations go to one. So correlations between all assets generally tend to uh, converge to one. Uh, so she asked, well, if, if that's true, then why don't uh, beta coefficients uh, converge to one, right? So in other words, um, uh, now the idea here is, um, of course, you know, in the financial crisis, and what, what, what I had just showed on here is that the, the beta of Citigroup, right, um, uh, you know, between, on my Kalman filtered estimate, uh, was between, you know, in the height of the crisis, went between six and seven. So, so the idea is if, if correlations between uh, Citigroup and the market are, are going to one, how can the beta coefficient go to six? So the, the answer to this question is, one, uh, first an observation about the correlation coefficient. What the correlation coefficient uh, doesn't mean it can mean this, but it doesn't have to mean. Uh, a lot of people say that if the correlation coefficient is one, then a stock, uh, then the market goes up by two percent, the stock goes up by two percent. That you know, and the market goes down by two percent, the stock goes down by four, uh, goes down by two percent. And that's true. That will have a correlation of one if that always holds. But the the idea of a, cor uh, a correlation of one is it can be that the stock goes, uh, the market goes up by two percent, and the stock goes up by four percent. The market goes down by two percent. The stock goes down by four percent. Or, um, uh, you know, it's it's any linear factor. So the market goes up by one percent. The stock could go up by eight percent. The market goes down by one percent. The stock goes down by eight percent. So the idea of a, of a perfect positive correlation is that they're linear functions of each other. Not necessarily that it's one for one, but it's just it's one for you know uh, uh, for for some uh, um, function of one. You know, uh, so uh, but linear uh, function. So the idea. To see this, all you have to, to realize is, okay, well, the correlation coefficient between A and B is equal to the covariance between A and B. And you can think of these as returns, standard deviation A, standard deviation of B. So the idea is, let's say, you know, A is, denotes returns on stock A. So um, I want to make it like, like uh, uh, it's four times, you know, so in other words, or, or any, any um, constant times uh, the returns on B. So in other words, let's say, um, you know, the returns on A are, are, are K times the returns on B. So we can say, you know, under this scenario, um, this is the correlate, but, you know, so under this scenario, we can change this to say this is K times A and B. And this is going to be K. So I'm increasing, I'm, I'm multiplying all the returns by A, and I'm multiplying the standard deviation of A by K. Uh, um, and directly you can see uh, that this equals K times the covariance of A and B times K sigma A sigma B. So the Ks cancel out, uh, and this is just equal to you know, the covariance A and B sigma A sigma B. So in other words, it's perfectly fine to A being a, 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 a being a, 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 I can increase uh, a by uh, uh, by multiplying it by a, a constant, and it doesn't change the correlation coefficient. Um, so, in other words, uh, we can have a situation where Citigroup's going up by four percent or down by four percent for every one uh, percent move in the in the market. Um, good. So now the question is, well, why did uh, Citigroup have a um, you know why did their beta coefficient uh, go up to uh, six during the financial crisis. So, in other words, beta of Citigroup is equal to the covariance of uh, the returns on Citigroup, returns on the market, times the variance of the market. So the idea here is, yes, even if all correlations go to one, you can think of um, that while correlations were going to one, because uh, uh, because this was a financial crisis disproportionately affecting the financial companies, you can think that uh, uh, Citigroup started performing just just much more worse in the market. So if the market went down one percent, Citigroup started going down by you know three percent, four percent, five percent. So in other words, you can think of the, during the crisis we just multiplied that by some number k, right? So the idea here is um, during the crisis the variance in the market is, is certainly going up, but uh, where the the bigger effect is the fact that we're multiplying. C by the returns on Citigroup by some factor. So uh, the market's going down and Citigroup is going down much more. So in other words, um, while the correlations are going to one, it's perfectly fine um, that, that we, you know, this could be multiplied by some, the returns could be multiplied by some factor and that we get the beta coefficients increasing to six. Good, I hope that was a, a decent explanation of it. Uh, yes.
All right, good. Um,